Well, hello there. We're finally back. My goodness. It's been terrible over here. <laughs> this is the longest stretch I've been shut out for the five years I've been filming the sky. It's been over a month now, a month and a week, I think. But here we are on Sunday, December 12th, 2021. And it's now about 5.25 p.m. up here in northeastern Ohio. And we're going to start off real quick with uh, Venus, the crescent. It's quite low in the sky and is about to head into the trees over there. So it's so cool to see that planet as a crescent like our moon. And from there, we're going to go up in a straight line, sort of, at an angle, that is. And from there, we're going to head over to Saturn. Such a lovely planet to watch. Those rings are so incredible. And it is quite windy here still, so it's going to be bop around. <laughs> now, yesterday, that horrible storm ripped through the country. I think it was uh, all the way from Mexico up to Canada, so... There was so much devastation from the tornadoes and everything else from that uh, winter storm. And our temperatures were really warm yesterday. I think it got up to 63 degrees Fahrenheit, which is very warm for December in Ohio. But back 50 years ago in 1971, we had another hellacious storm and the uh, temperature was 71 degrees that day. But anyway, from Saturn, we're going to head up to Jupiter at its next angle. And an overexposed Jupiter, we'll see uh, the four of its moons there dancing around, <laughs> jiggling around. And we do have a moon off to the left of these guys. Okay, and there we go with a full on look of the moon. Alrighty, and let's just take a quick spin around the moon. And right there. Looks like a long needle mark in there. And that looks so much different than the one I'm about to show you of a different skid mark. If that's what this one is, I'm, I don't know. But let's head up to the mountain area up here. That is quite cool. But over here, you can see the other skid mark I'm talking about. Just go down the other side. And back down to the cool craters down here in the bottom. Anyway, if you're out and about, the Gemini meteor showers are going to be peaking on... Um, I think tomorrow and the next day, December 13th and 14th, maybe 15th and 16th, I don't know for sure, but let's read what Sky Safari Pro here has to say about it. The Geminides, which peak during mid-December each year and are one of the best and most reliable annual meteor showers, but they did, my goodness, but they did not start out that way. The Geminis first began to appear in the mid-1800s, but the first showers were not n noteworthy, generating only 10 to 20 meteors per hour. Since that time, 
the Geminites have grown to become one of the most major showers of the year. During its peak, 120 meteors can be seen per hour, and they're considered to be the most consistent and active uh, annual showers we have. And they're best viewed during the night and pre-dawn hours, and are visible across the globe due to a nearly 24-hour broad maximum. And it should start about 9 or 10 p.m. The meteors from the shower are slow moving and usually peak around the 13th to 14th of the month. So if you look towards Gemini, which uh, would probably be in the eastern sky, you may see some shooting stars up there. Now I'm out here and I'm frozen, so <laughs> I doubt I'll be able to get back out for Orion and Orion's Nebula and the meteor shower, but I wanted to catch something. I have my winter boots on, winter socks, two pairs of gloves, and I don't know how many sweaters and winter jackets I got on, but a, pu a bunch. <laughs> anyway, let's wrap this up for now, and I'm going to wish you all, I hope you're safe wherever you are, and everything's going right for you. And in case the weather turns sour again over here, I'm going to wish you happy holidays, Merry Christmas, whatever. If you celebrate it, if you don't, I don't know. But I wish you a happy one anyway. <laughs> anyway, it's now 6.01 p.m. up here. Y'all take care. Bye now. Let's shut her down. Oh my goodness, I am frozen. Mm -mm -mm. I hate winter in Ohio. <laughs>